I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the D Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A No, oh, he So it's my job to let niggas know Oh, he got skeletons in his motherfucking closet too nigga. Wait, 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 hold on, wait I feel hold like on. we all do Now wait, hold on, bro But I don't Now, now hit man uh, we, we dealing, when you say skeletons in his closet We dealing with Facts, not no fabricated bullshit. Man, oh man, I don't get up there and just yell shit out whack. Power root. Okay, we go. Nigga, that nigga Geechee got it. Nigga, that's Nutty Block Crib. You know what I'm saying? And then my nigga Hitman Holler, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, he represent a Compton Power Root gang. You know what I'm saying? And nigga said, no, 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 no. Hell no. And then, oh uh, my gosh, now. I ain't repping that shit. <laughs> hey, Lewis. But he 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 rep a, a cop and power rule game. Nah 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 nah. Them my dudes. I don't I don't rep the street. Nah, I, I don't know you the might. It's too late, nigga. Nice. Nah nah, but I just. I admit I was lit when they found me. High rule niggas always around me. Big ice if it melt is gonna drown. Big fight. Mmm. You know you fucked up, right? You say you bought the bottle of beer at. <laughs> Uh, I'm betting on everything I say. I've on been Paru. on St. Louis before a Fuck lot of times, and I ain't nigga. seen. No, no, nah, nah, they're my dudes. I don't, I don't rep the street. Nah, I, I know you might. It's too late, nigga. Nah. nah. What's up with it? Huh? You didn't think we saw that, huh? Let me see how you do that shit again. Let me see. I was just playing, man. I swear, I was only playing, man. You think niggas out here playing? That nigga said, no, nah, no, nah, that's my partner. That nigga cool and all that shit. <laughs> Hitman ego is so fucking crazy, bro. I can't even believe he just still falling into traps. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Whack 100 from Kali, right? If I'm not some, that fuck, that shit was just. Bow, 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 bow. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you for every single one of y'all that watch this content. Subscribe if you respect the handle, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and it, we are here. It's a couple of things that's going on in the world, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, the election, the election, the election. I'm not really into politics that much. I don't really get on here talk about politics, give my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Because me personally, I feel like the only person that can save you is you, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I do things like, I make sure I work out regularly, I'm in school, I try to push a positive message, you know what I'm saying, to people because it's like, yo, no matter who's in charge, you gotta save yourself because nobody's coming to save you, you know what I mean? So if good things happen, good things happen. If they don't, they don't. I felt like Joe Biden fell asleep at the wheel, you know what I'm saying? Like halfway through his fucking election, his Alzheimer's kicked in. I don't even know if he knows an election happened. I don't even know if he knows that Kamala ran. He don't, I don't think he knows anything. So when you have that, you know what I'm saying, mixed with everything that went into it, you know, America, you know, a lot of people have been saying they're tired of paying a car note to get groceries, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. And people just got frustrated and then, you know, Trump has got fucking Eli Musk, the richest person in the entire world, owning Twitter and pushing messages out every day. Every one of his tweets gets a fucking million retweets. He tweeted, he was tweeting more than regular people and you was forced to see his tweets. Wait, stop the motherfucking music. You, are you dumb? He was literally online every day. <laughs> what the fuck did people think was gonna happen? And she had Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, fucking Glorilla, like that wasn't gonna implies, that was never gonna work. Niggas was down 3-1 before the series started. I think she won like New York, Chicago, California, maybe like a couple other states here and there, but Red like cleared the map, get them out. They got niggas out of here. Mm-mm, you know, they showed up. So I don't, if you ain't from one of the states that voted that way, then you know what I'm saying, you really ain't gotta say they made you. They picked for you, you know what I mean, and it is what it is, I'm like, whatever. Life goes on and it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. You know what I mean? Like, you can't.
what are we gonna do? Get bent out of shape and nothing's gonna change anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. Like, and we won't get, the good thing is, we will not get any more political text messages every single day trying to make us vote and shit. I mean, so that's over. I feel like a lot of people lied their families off this election. Like some of my friends I be talking to, they be like, man, I just told my mother I voted just to, so she could leave me alone. A lot of y'all, one of you out there, especially watching, lied y'all people off because y'all didn't want to deal with either party, you know what I'm saying? Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. Presidents are temporary. Wu-Tang is forever. Always remember that. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's a bunch of things going on. Dirk's trial, I have seen that motion going on, you know what I mean? And the thing I will say that's very unfortunate about what Dirk's trial has to show and things that are going on, we all gotta remember. <laughs> the people that are telling on him are not citizens from the outside. It's just like, he's not, they're not calling a 1-800 Crime Stoppers number. It's people that was with him. People that was down with the, <laughs> down from the town. That's going to be a huge problem, you know what I mean? Like, we've seen Thug get out of jail, you know what I mean? We hope that he does well. 15 years of probation is a long ass time. We're going to see how he does, and we hope that all goes well. But the third shit, it's a little crazy, man. They, 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 they really, and we finding out a lot of these songs and things that they were doing, them shits was real. <laughs> Don't respond to shit with Vaughn. <laughs> they dropping locations, I'm getting it done. Whoa, hold on, my nigga. I ain't know that the music was supposed to be real. Oh shit, the music is real. My bad, hold on. So that brings a whole nother criminal element to it. And the last part I wanna say about that is like, they're, they're trying to consider OTF a fucking criminal enterprise that was responsible for murders, shootings, crimes of violence, murder for hire. They're putting this on this gang and people that are accused of doing this shit have OTF in their names. They represent this, the, the fucking shit. They want to get signed to the label. A lot of it, if they can tie a lot of this shit together and say that you were the fucking big meech of this shit, you were the fucking Larry Hoover, you was the top guy, man, they're gonna... <laughs> Good luck is all I'm gonna say. Five minutes, let's get that out the way. Now let's get to the main topics at hand. Uh, Hitman Holler, Hitman. <sighs> You know, I be thinking sometimes, and shout out to Hitman and everything he's got going on. I be thinking that you wouldn't fall for some of the shit that you be falling for. Like, how are you caught up in this interview with WAG 100 with a panel of niggas and Geechee Gotti, and you know WAC is a West Coast chaperone. Like, some situations you shouldn't even be in, like, you. You too, you're doing too good for that, B. You got a battle coming up. I understand promotion. Geechee was just on Hot 97. You was just on bars on I-95. Everybody's talking about the pay-per-view. Niggas is not, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't really pressed to bootleg you. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to support. Everybody want to support. You got it going. You got to close the back door. You are setting yourself up. And I only noticed this because Easy was talking about it yesterday. Then I seen the clips. And I'm like, oh, you let Verb, Verb and tagging everybody. He's a protagonist because he's been a protagonist. He's been tagging every fucking body. Nick Cannon. <sighs> fucking Rich Gannon. You know what I'm saying? Yo, everybody. Mariah Carey. This nigga tag everybody. He tagged WAC 100. He, he drew WAC 100 into this shit. You were supposed to just sell the pay-per-view, get that battle going, and be out. Y'all rap, y'all rounds. You already know Geechee Gotti. When he got an angle on you, he got an angle. It don't matter what you say. Hitman's like posting old videos of him being on the block and all this other shit, bro. Like that, that's not gonna help you. On. Come on, come on in, man. You know, I, so I don't have no relationship with him. I don't, I don't dislike him. You know, what I'm saying, I'm good. I don't hate him. You know, what I'm saying, I love what he do as an artist, what he does as a businessman, what he does for his community, his family, all of that. You know, what I'm saying that's good. But when I'm looking at this shit right here, I'm like, my well, nigga, all you had to do was sell a pay per view. Don't you, Geechee Gotti, bro? Like, shout out to Geechee Bay Lope. This nigga been in documentaries about gang shit, like documentaries. Man, it's your boy Bay Loke, man, Compton, the D Block representative, 166th Street, 165th Street, man. We right here in Compton, though, man, the Grandies, man. Y'all heard about this? We in them Grandy apartments in Compton, California, right now. Streetgangs.com. And all the Compton. Mike Dog, man. Mike Dog, you. Free C-Nut. Free C-Nut. 
See you know, out here, man, thugging with us, man. You know, homie Infant Good, he out here thugging, man. It's my boy Bummer. I got my name right there, man. It's our boy, man. He changed his life. You dig what I'm saying? Like, that's one of my homeboys, man. He had did some time. He had got incarcerated. You dig what I'm saying? Following one of my homeboys' funerals. You know what I'm saying? He had got incarcerated, did him a couple of years in prison. But while he was incarcerated, he, I mean, when he got out, you know what I'm saying? And even the test of this, this is his little cousin right here standing next to us. He basically said about him being in there and he realizing you going to jail for beefing with certain gangs. And then once you get in there, you cool with what you once had these problems with. You know what I'm saying? You out, you out here trying to take them out. Then when you go in there, you got to be, be with them. Then when you come back out, you're supposed to be going back at them again. And that's just like a... A cycle that don't make sense. Why do something out here then go in there and be cool and come back out and got to jump back in? He's like, man, you know what? I'd rather just give my life to God. You dig what I'm saying? And try to do something better for myself. You feel me? I'm, I already tried the game bang and I done went to the highest level. I went to prison. Anything higher than that in game bang in terms of death. So I'd rather die and go, go know where I'm going to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I could respect that too because I believe in God heavily. You know what I'm saying? Memories up in here, man. Like this, this is a spot. We probably just come right here and smoke weed just to look at this shit. Flip some bitches, man. Bitches get fucked in this little crimey part, whether you believe it or not. You feel me? This the grandies, man. A bitch get hit right here. I'll be straight up. They get real fast. As Bay Loke, not Geechee Gotti. Way before rap. He got documentaries from 9 and 10. That's where the first, first place I saw him was on Street Gangs. Not on URL. <laughs> and the funny shit was, when I first seen him on the URL, I was like, yo, that's a nigga from the Street Gangs. Because Nutty Block, Compton Cribs. They wear New York Yankees apparel, hats, everything Yankee. So I order, you know, that's my favorite team. I'm from the Bronx, so it automatically stood out to me. And in LA, you can't wear like when you can't wear that. Like when I go out there, I could be from New York, from the Bronx. Niggas don't give no fucks. If you ain't with them, you ain't on that team. You ain't on that team when you go out there. Nah, that's just it just does not work like that. It's a total different reality. It's a total different experience. And that's just the way. The gang structure works there. Like I said, something as simple as what hat you wear can mean if you make it home or not. Like, it ain't like that in New York. There are gangs in New York, there, and I'm just speaking from a New York perspective. So the issue really is, you know, Wack comes on there and he says, you know, a hit man, he's, a, he's, a pot, he's from St. Louis, but he reps Pyru, a Compton gang. The way he kind of introduced them was shady. That was like a backhanded introduction and shit. To all of these niggas, some being gang members and this, that, and the third, and Geechee Gotti down there in the box, this nigga got a Brady Bunch meeting, and he literally introduced you like on some old floozy shit. Like I could, we could see right past it. But Wack isn't, and he does that. He's an antagonistic nigga, like, and that's been his thing for years. Like he can be controversial. He can make people get in their feelings and riled up, and he always is going to be in the position and in the spot. Like he can get near the game when the game is in drama. He can get near this rapper. He can get near that rapper. He's going to be on no jumper. He got so many fucking avenues. And you know, people respect a lot of what Wack Warner's opinion is. He can talk about people being in paperwork and he can break it down and all this other shit. And the fu you should have never took the bait from Ver, Ver baited you into this, verbatim, verbatim, ooh, he's a protagonist, verbatim, he baited you in this shit, you know, and by the time he introduces you and you said some shit like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pop, like, you just say I'm not pop, Rude, you was kind of like, I'm not from there, I've done my guys, are, bro, them niggas out there live and die about that shit, so with the, 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 the stubble stutter in your answer, you know Geechee got is taking all of that and just like writing this round, rewriting this round. You know what I'm saying? You already know that shit is coming. He's from there. That's the one thing. Alright, so when we look at the gang shit, and everybody can look at things how they want. But where I'm from, I can only speak about where I'm from. The gang shit really hit the Bronx in like 96, 97. And I'm sure it was probably there before. But when I started going to like... You know what I'm saying? When we started getting from elementary school to like around high school to around the early 2000s, they used to like cut people's faces and shit. The Bloods got big in New York. The Crips got big in New York. You know what I'm saying? But they were a lot of subsets and hybrids of West Coast gangs. You know what I mean? And niggas will look at gangs, people that are gang members of gangs that they're not from are, get looked at like starters in the NBA. Like, okay, they're a gang member. You know what I'm saying? He's a Blood, he's a Crip, et cetera, et cetera. 
the people that are from Cali, that are from Compton, that are from Nutty Block and Piru and uh, all this other shit, Watts and all these niggas that are from there, we look at them like NBA All-Stars and All-Pros like in the NFL. Like these niggas is a first team All-NBA gang. This nigga, Geechee Gotti, is a Division One gangbanger. <laughs> he Division One. <laughs> you might be the D3, you know what I'm saying? Like I understand, uh, I hear, I've heard about renegade sets before and I heard about people, you know, gangs in different neighborhoods and environments and towns. But when you on a forum, when you talk about Wag 100, Known Blood, Geechee Gotti, these niggas is like, they looking at you like, they laughing, they not laughing with you, they laughing at you. And I just wish that Hitman would not have fell for that bait. You had been doing good. I mean, he goes back and forth with Verb on Twitter and shit like that. And Verb is like, really like, full court press. He has not stopped from the beginning till now. He just keep on going, keep on going. Verb is full court press on Hitman like he's battling him. <laughs> like this shit don't stop. And Geechee is literally walking you down. And I just wish Hitman would have like would continue to be more focused on the actual battle than all this gang shit because Geechee's battled so many gang members before. So many. Come on, like let's let's think of all like we don't I don't got them all, but I know a lot of he's battled Twerk before. He's battled K Sean before. He's battled um He's battled Sue Surf before, you know what I'm saying? He's battled Rum Nitty before. He's battled Arsenal before. He's battled fucking all of these shotgun Shug, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh Red, like he's had all of these battles. I don't know he battled Red, he not, he, but he would have. But I'm just saying, he's had so many fucking battles with gang members, you know what I'm saying? And Geechee got it, yeah, Geechee got it. He'll beat everybody, like, he, 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 that don't phase him. You know what I mean? Yeah, for Hitman, it's like, I don't even think, I think at this point, like for real, if, if he focused on the battle and actually winning the battle and not being emotional about the battle, it's like, bro, we're not even, even in Geechee's early documentaries, he was telling kids not to join gangs, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna get yourself caught up in some shit that you know, you're not ready for and woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. And I don't even think we should really be pushing and advocating the gang culture, you know what I'm saying? Because what, what do, what comes positive from gangs? It's the only question I got, like what positive, there's really no positives. You're either gonna get a criminal record, you're gonna kill someone, you're gonna get killed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or you're gonna wind up paralyzed on a wheelchair because you got shot. You don't know you're gonna get hurt. Like there's no real, you don't see niggas that like, it's like one in every hundred gang members that really get successful, you know what I'm saying? And create something that's legitimate. But for the most part, it's a lot of news articles. It's a lot of headlines. It's a lot of mothers crying. It's a lot of op packs. It's a lot of this, a lot of that. So I don't even think that should be. I think both of these guys are just very talented rappers and they could just rap. Like these niggas can literally just rap and be good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll see where it goes. Um, I did see Calico shooting at Av. Well, you know, they were saying that if Av can't box, he could battle Cal. And then Cal said some wild, you know, Cal, this nigga Cal is a troll of the fucking year. He says, what does Av do if I want to fight him after the battle? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Av got high blood pressure, you know what I'm saying? Because of the boxing shit. And that's why I tell you guys, keep your health in order, you know what I'm saying? You guys, please, please, if you don't get nothing else from this, get the walking, get the working out, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, you know what I'm saying? Get yourself together. I'm not going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, every single day, but, you know, health is wealth. So I have to share that message, too. Um, but, yeah, Calico is talking his shit. Uh, the battles did drop from um, the car the other day, the URL shit. I did see some of them, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to watch the rest later, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to see him. What did I say? Didn't I say I'm going to see the motherfucking battle? I said I'm going to see him, right? So I saw him, and I'm going to talk with S. Probably SP might be by later, you know what I'm saying? We do some breakdowns, but um, you know what I'm saying? I saw some interesting joints, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you one I saw, Bad News versus Wusa. That was a pretty good battle. Bad News round was long as hell, like with these long 10, 15 minute rounds, bro. I don't know, like, how are we even quantifying wins and losses? Niggas rounds be mad long. Wusa round was like a good five minutes, you know what I'm saying? He did his thing, boop, got it in, gave, rap, 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 great. Snail Bad News raps like fucking 15 minutes long. It's like, bruh. <laughs> oh my God, man. What are we doing with battle rap, man? What are we doing with the sport? But uh, I'll be back to talk with y'all a little bit later, you know what I'm saying? Like if SP swings through. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this hit, man. Like, bro, you getting backdoored and you don't even see it. 
Bro, Geechee Gotti go everywhere with a bunch of members, man. They gonna be with him. They be with him for battles against people that don't got nothing to do with no gang shit. Never claim no gang or nothing. He be having 15, 20 members. You think he's not gonna pull up for this? You think I'm not gonna have that conversation? You gotta know you gonna have that conversation, but you gotta have a way to embrace it, a way to throw it back at. Yeah, I did this, but they led to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you gotta like show that how you uplifted some shit. Because if you're going to only rap to us about how you put some shit down and this, that, man, listen, that shit cool. But a nigga going to be like, fuck you. How you rap a gang from my hood, nigga? You ain't from there. You can't come there. You ain't running the man that shit. All right, you know, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone because guess what? <laughs> I get to recap it regardless. So it don't even matter. And if it goes the way I say it, I could come right back in and say that. You know what I'm saying? I will be watching. Shout out to the whole car and everybody that's involved. Looks like it's going to be a dope ass event. You know what I'm saying? Economy too high. I can't just get flights to go places. I told y'all in the other blog. You want to send me a flight? I, I, you know, we might see what'll happen. But other than that, I'm at the crib. My feet kicked up. The economy is too crazy to be doing that type of shit. And then, imagine if you had went to some of these cars, any of these cars that just happened in the last month or two. And all these no-shows and all this shit and motherfuckers ain't showing up and all of that. I got no-showed on once. Charlie Clips. I went out there to see Charlie Clips on the car versus Jag. Charlie Clips ain't never show up. And Jag ain't showing up since. So ever since then, I've been like, man, pff. I don't know, man. I don't know. And so the economy's higher than niggas' blood pressure nowadays. I don't know what the fuck you want me to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I got to, uh... I gotta get back to what I get to, but other than that, shout out to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. It is your man about to fly. I tell your mama I said hi, you know what I'm saying? Get your shit straight. And then, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you stream my mixtape, man. Shout out to all, uh, I think about 15,000 people that have now listened to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just keep on spreading the awareness of the things that I like to do, you know what I'm saying, when I ain't in here talking to you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't get too bent up out of shape about no motherfucking election. Your one vote. You know what I'm saying? It's your one vote. Whoever you vote for, that's your personal business. You know what I'm saying? Got niggas to carry how you carry it, but it is what it is. I'm out. Okay. It's the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds and the D-A Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A